My start in aviation actually began when I was a very little, as well as a kid actually. And my parents noticed it uh, when I was in school. When actually, when my parents went to the parent seatment uh, every term, they would sort of say to my father and my mother that uh, Ibrahim's always looking out the window. He's always staring at the airplanes. Today, funny enough, I'm sat here just talking to the person next to me and making shade out clouds again. And it's quite funny because uh, when you're a young kid, you think it's something wrong with you. It was actually always a dream for me. It was never, it could be never be a sort of a reality, to be honest, because it was always one of those little kid things where I want to be a pilot when I grow up, or I want to be a fire brigade, uh, fire brigade or a police officer. And it was actually my dad who sort of persevered me to do this career more because he sort of believed in I could do it. I started flying when I was really young. I was only 16 years old. So I was flying an airplane, but I couldn't drive a car. So my mum would drop me off to the flight school. I'll take off on my own on a solo flight, do circuits, land, and then I'll wait for my mum to come pick me up to take me back home again because I couldn't drive a car. And it was one of those funny things because I got my first pilot's license, my PPL, when I was 17. And I got my driving license two months later after receiving my pilot's starlight license. So it's always been a sort of um, a special thing for me flying. So I was sat in traffic and I sort of begged for the car not to move forward so I could sit there at the departures or the landings for runway uh, 09 left or 27 and uh, just stare at the aeroplanes and I'll be like, wow, I want to be out there, I want to sort of be departing out of Heathrow one day. And that's one of those things that's always been exciting for me when I started flying. Starting the engines and taking off, you just don't realise what you're doing. It just, it's, it's a nat uh, natural uh, instinct of flying, really, which just becomes part of your daily life. It's just like waking up and washing your face. I mean, it's just, just so natural. When it all comes together, when you leave the aircraft, it all sinks in. And then you get excited again for the next flight, like, I want to fly again. Every time I land, I look back on the 777 especially, I'm like, wow, I mean, I've just landed this plane. It never finishes. I've, I've been to London maybe 30 times in the last four years. And every single time, it's actually the same feeling. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a day, if it's a night, it just comes together. Uh, every flight it's just it's amazing it's a feeling you actually got to live i think everyone should keep up their love for what they do and believe in what they do and do what they're best at doing